So hello and welcome friends to our channel intro Mac and here we discuss about basic mechanical engineering concepts and how we can apply them for the practical purpose and how they are used in the industry. So in our previous session we have seen which are the most widely used industrial sensors. So today we will start with inductive sensors. We will see what is the basic working principle of these type of sensors for detecting which type of materials these sensors can be utilized what are their applications and finally the most important part how we can get the information about these sensors how we can select the part code and all these things so without wasting time let's get started so here we will see the basic working principle we will not deep dive deeper into these things because these are all electronic things so at least we should know the basic principle so here you could see we have a sensor and an electric supply is given to this sensor which creates a magnetic field so here you could see the high frequency magnetic field and when this sensor or any metal object is in the proximity of this sensor it creates eddy currents in the conductive material only now here the important part is conductive material because these eddy currents are generated in conductive materials only so the eddy currents get generated into the metal or the object which is getting sensed now as this part is moved like away or closer to the sensor there are energy losses due to the resistance of this metal and because of that there is reduction in the amplitude of oscillations and this is sensed by the sensor and it gives the signal and here you could see the operator indicator on the back side of the sensor we have a small indicator light like green and red so it indicates that whether the part is in proximity of the sensor area and if yes then it gives the sensor that the part is present and if the part is away from this sensing phase then it will show that the part is not present now the question is at how much distance this sensor can sense so again it depends on the size of the sensor how much high frequency magnetic field it creates the higher the magnetic field it creates the longer the distance it can cover so let's see now here you can see we have a nut here you could see the steel nut here and you can see the 12 mm is the sensing range of the sensor and as soon as the nut comes in this range here you could see on the back side it is giving the signal and here also you can see we are getting a signal and as soon as it moves away from this sensing range the sensor is off now the question is as we have seen that this sensor can be used for the conductive materials only because eddy currents are generated in conductive materials only now when i say conductive materials let's say metals in metals also we have different kind of materials we have a steel we have aluminium we have copper so the question is whether this range will be same for all these materials so let's check out so here is the thing now let's see one by one the first one was our ferrous metal so you can see the range right and the second part if you could see it is a brass third one is aluminium and copper now what you can observe is as we move down you can see that the copper has a very less range that means even if the sensor has a sensing range of 12 mm like this and if you place the copper part at 12 mm distance it will not get sensed on the contrary if we place this ferrous material on 12 mm distance it will get sensed so the thing is it is not only the sensing distance but also the material which you are sensing that matters 
so that's why you should be clear that you are using the sensor for sensing which kind of material and on that basis you should look for the sensing range of the sensor right now again let's take an example of brass so let's see the brass if you could place in this area it it will get sensed but again if you place like little bit longer even though the sensor has range it will not detect brass right so this is the thing and uh, if you see aluminium again so on the as we go downside you could see the range is same but the part will not get detected so let's see now how we can select uh, the sensor so let's put omron omron is one of the largest uh, manufacturer of the sensors and it is in the field of industrial automation so many industries use the sensors of omron so let's go on to the home page you could see here the home page of omron and uh, we should go into the products so as soon as we go into the products you could see here the sensors switches safety components uh, all the different things that are offered by uh, it so we are dealing with proximity sensor so let's go into the proximity sensor again in proximity sensor we have different types like cylindrical rectangular uh, capacitive uh, right so we will go with uh, let's say the cylindrical these proximity sensors are high frequency oscillation as we have seen right so let's go with the cylindrical uh, sensors so here the the standard proximity sensors you could see the standard sensors for detecting the ferrous metals under standard conditions so that has been mentioned over here you could read what the specific sensor offers there are other options also available like ultra small size or safe mounting with greater sensing distance so on the basis of your application you should go for the particular range right so we will check out the standard proximity sensor catalog now here uh, we have come up with standard sensor for detecting the ferrous metals you could see here they have mentioned over here and uh, the different things they have mentioned you can read all those things the sensors come in like three wire and two wire methods and the temperature range is also mentioned that is also important because on the basis of application you should see uh, the temperature in which it is getting sensed so we have a different sizes like m at the sensing dis distance you could see 2 mm and what are the connector uh, methods and the operations their electrical things are mentioned over here and the specification you could see m at and m12 so the sensing distance again we have types like shielded and unshielded so you could uh, see the sensing distance is different like 2 mm plus minus 10 percent the tolerance they have given for unshielded it is 4 mm if we go for a larger size sensor the sensing range getting increased like 3 mm 8 mm right so uh, the detectable objects they have mentioned ferrous metals and the sensing distance decreases with non-ferrous metals they have also mentioned over here uh, like aluminium and all those things these are like non-ferrous metals right so we have already seen uh, those things and they have mentioned in the catalog also right so other things uh, also have been mentioned over here and you can read the m18 and m30 is also available with sensing range like 10 mm 20 mm so according to your application you should go with the size right so again they have mentioned with two wire and three wire these are some electrical uh, things uh, we have so whenever you go for the selection again there is like three wire sensor or two wire sensor is also there now dimensions you can get here some dimensions of the sensor what is the overall dimensions what are the mounting dimensions and the most important part is the catalog we get a lot of data from the catalog so you must read this catalog so let's see what it contains 
because in catalog there are many different kind of graphs also which help us for the selection so here we are so we have seen these things uh, right so how the sensor should be selected that has been given ordering information that how to order the model code so that is important because when you place an order you should know how to generate the code for a particular sensor then we have ratings and specifications which we have already seen so that is uh, e, this is in more compiled manner all the things we are getting in the one sheet right so this is all about the inductive proximity sensors how we can search them and we have taken the omran just for the example you can get n number of different manufacturers of these sensors based on the their quality their sensing ranges their applications their cost so it is not import it is not a mandatory that you should go for uh, like the omran sensors only but you can also search for other manufacturers also but the aim of this video is to show you that how this sensor works and which things you should consider while selecting the proximity uh, inductive sensor and i hope you understood the things and if you have any doubts please do write into the comment section and we can discuss over there until then stay home stay happy thank you